Hey everyone, um, after I shared my video yesterday, I had a lot of um, people ask how I added the audio to the slide. So I was going to show you that really quickly. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is download something to record your audio. So I'm an Android user and on my phone I found a recording device just called Smart Recorder. And what I really like about that is that um, as you record the stuff, it's super easy. You just hit the button record and then you can share it directly to your Google Drive. So there's no in between steps of sending it to an email or sending it to another drive. It just, there's an automatic button that says download to Google Drive. So it makes it really easy to do. So here's how I did that. So I had this assessment up yesterday where the kids listen to a rhythm and they have to correct, they have to pick the correct one. If they get it right, they go there. If they get it wrong, they go there. So I want the students to click on the hat box to hear the rhythm. So I'm going to go up to insert. I'm going to go to audio. And then here are all of my recordings that I did for this one. I'm going to click on recording one, hit select. And the icon's going to pop up over here. I don't want them to click over here, so I'm going to drag it this way. To me, this is a really small hit area for the kids, so I make it bigger just so that there's no, I can't, I can't find the area or whatever. So um, I make this bigger, and that looks really gaudy. So over here on the right, there are a bunch of options that you can do with sound. Um, right now, I want it to stay on click because I want them to click on a specific spot to hear the sound. But if I wanted it, the audio to start automatically when I got to the slide, I would just change that right here. You can change your volume right here um, and you can stop on slide change. So if you're adding audio that's really long and you only um, want them to listen for a short amount of time, you can click stop on slide change so that when they go to the next slide, the music stops. But right now I'm going to go down to the adjustments. And this is what um, is most useful in this whole menu, I feel. You're going to come here to where it's transparency and you're going to slide that all, of, all the way to the right. When I did that, that gaudy icon goes away, but the box is still there. So I can click here and it doesn't look like there's anything there. But when I hit present, and I click on the hat, you hear the audio. Now this, um, you can't see it because of my screen share thing. Here, let me hide that. This will always pop up. You can't get rid of that, but that icon is gone now. So after I did that, I just linked my objects. So this one was wrong. So I have that one linked to slide three, the try again. And then I'm going to link this one. This one is also wrong. So I'm going to right click hit link slides in the presentation. I want it to go to three applied. This is the correct one. So I'm going to link and I'm going to go to slide two. So that when they do this exercise, If they hit the wrong one, they're going to go to the try again slide. I don't think I have this one linked yet, but we'll try it. No. If they hit the right one, then they go to the great work. Let's do another one. So if you have any questions about adding that, please let me know.